Okay, I'm, it might look like I've. This is an all Bill Monroe channel. I've got quite a bit of Bill Monroe, but I'll cover other stuff too. Today, I want to talk about Bluegrass Ramble, a album that came out in 1962. And if you're a banjo player, this is the Blue, Bill Monroe album for you. Uh, he tends to emphasize fiddle more than the other instruments and secondarily mandolin because it's his instrument but, but it includes banjo quite a bit but on this album more banjo it starts off with little maggie which is the same tune as east virginia um, just the words are different so he sings little maggie then bugle call rag which is a instrumental that heavily emphasizes banjo, then Toy Heart, and then I'm Going Back to Old Kentucky, another one of his songs. Uh, these last two, they lots of him singing solo, alternating with breaks for banjo, fiddle, and mandolin. Live and Let Live is the same, and Nine Pound Hammer. It starts off with banjo and then goes into verses, alternating between banjo, verse, fiddle, and mandolin. And side two is, starts off with Cotton Fields, which is a lead belly song. Then Danny Boy, which seems an odd song for a bluegrass album, but here it is. And then Old Joe Clark, which is a instrumental uh, that heavily emphasizes banjo in this case, at least this version of it. It's a fiddle tune, but it sounds, there's more banjo on this one. And John Hardy, which that's also an instrumental, and Shady Grove is a song, and then Journey's End. So. I got this in cassette form. This was in the early 90s, got it at the Bluegrass Festival, the Dahlonega Bluegrass Festival, I'll shamelessly plug them, and at the time I didn't have a very good record player and I was mostly listening to music in my car which had a cassette player, so that seemed like the format to get it in. And it was the only format this particular album was available to me at the time, so it's a good album especially if you're a banjo player, heavily emphasizes banjo. Uh, 